trade leads to a convergence of relative prices. In other words, they move towards each other. So if we have two countries, home country and foreign country, let's assume the home country is labor abundant and the foreign country is land abundant. And we have two goods. Let's consider cloth and food. Cloth is labor intensive and food is land intensive. So under autarky, when these two countries don't trade with each other, at a given relative price, the home country would produce relatively more cloth, which is labor intensive, compared to the foreign country. All right. Now when they start trading with each other, the autarky prices, the two prices would converge and you have the world price and this price is common across the two countries after trade. They both take the world prices. So trade leads to equalization of the relative goods prices. And that's what gives us the result for the factor prices. In the case of Heckscherian model, there is a one-to-one -one relationship between the relative goods prices and the factor prices, wage rental ratio. So for any relative goods prices, there is an associated wage rental ratio. That's what we mean by one-to-one -one relationship. Yeah. So now you can see if the goods prices in the two countries equalize, so would the wage by rental ratio or the factor prices. Yeah. Now there is an interesting way of thinking about this. We can think of this as trade in factors of production rather than goods. Let me explain that. Now, home country is going to export labor-intensive goods, all right? You can think of this as home country actually exporting labor which is packaged in goods. And foreign country is going to export land-intensive good and you can think of this as land packaged in their goods, right? Home country is labor abundant. So there is a higher supply of labor in the home country compared to the foreign country. So before trade, the wage by rental ratios in the home country were lower compared to the wage by rental ratio in the foreign country, or labor was cheaper in the home country that's the reason why the labor intensive good was cheaper in home country and they were exporting the labor intensive good. When they start exporting the labor intensive good, it's as if they are exporting labor to the foreign country. So what happens to the supply of labor in the home country? The supply of labor indirectly is decreasing while the wages would start rising. What's happening in the foreign country? Well, they are receiving these packages oh, filled with labor, right? These labor intensive goods. So it's as if indirectly the supply of labor is increasing in the foreign country and they would see a fall in their wages. Similarly, the same thing for price of land. Before this started, home country wages were lower than the foreign country, right? And as trade begins, the goods prices start converging. They finally equalize. What happens to the factor prices? While the goods are being traded, the wages in the home country starts increasing and that in the foreign country starts decreasing till they equalize in the two countries. Okay, guys?